I know. Here's a little I information know. about like, moving things in the dimension. Uh, create, create a new composition. Create, create a blank composition, 30 seconds long. I'm gonna create a solid. This has a nice kind of background. Yeah. If I create a text, uh, I can see what you know, anything I want to. Have some text to come around in 3D. There's actually a very really simple there's just a box here. If I click on it, I can I can move it in three dimensions. Um, position, you know, right over line, because now the left and right, the text up and down. Um, really doing the 3D space is the Z axis. For the, for the um, purposes of actually just keyframing itself, which is, seems to be a big question. Um, but pick a point, you need a start point and an end point, or, you know, multiple points at which things change. By clicking on the stopwatch here, create a keyframe. So we need a start point and an end point in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it about four seconds forward. And I'll move it forward. I can type in the value where you do this all day. That's what I'm doing here. And if I spread forward and backwards, looks like it's moving in three. It looks like it's getting larger. But you know, if you want it to go through you rather than down and away from you. I thought it did, I thought it did. Alright, here! <laughs> we'll move it up or down here. Um, it's actually created to come up and come down because we made one of the changes to the positions. So let's click on it and delete it. That's in about three, five seconds. So I'm going to click here. Take just a brief five seconds. I know where you're going. I'm going to click here. I'm going to change the value. Now, will our settings change? Okay. Uh, basically like moving things around in 3D space. Yeah. It's a simulation of such. Get rid of that. Well, the galaxy itself, much to the same, if we take the position, I'm going to get rid of the keyframe there because I was doing something earlier. Click on the Z position and pick a point, you know, farther or forward, whichever one you want to do, but drag it back. Um, that's where the event will start. And if I move it forward about five seconds and increase this value, um, reach an endpoint. So here, if I hit the space bar, I get getting closer and closer and closer. This isn't actually running in full time, uh, real time because I have other software running in the background. So my computer down. But moving forward and backwards is much the same. There's an alternate method by which you could do this, and that is if you created the camera. Here, I have a 3D layer here, which is good. So I'll go ahead and create a layer, new, and a camera. I create a default camera. By default, when you bring up a camera, it, it's actually what's being used. You can change the position here by just changing the Z axis by moving the position of a camera, much like if you were bringing a camera closer or closer to something else or doing it out of something else. Oh, oh, the same with the crew of the text. You move in and out. And that's basic down and dirty keyframing and down and dirty cameras. Hopefully this helps.